As the war in Ukraine continues, NATO has kicked off its largest military drills all across Eastern Europe. Russia, on the other hand, is busy training its forces for a nuclear explosion as it tests an advanced simulator. Why is NATO conducting its largest military drills right in the face of Russia? Why does Russia need a realistic nuclear explosion simulator? Are these indications that the next nuclear war is likely to take place in Europe? I'm Shivan Channa. Welcome to Game Plan. NATO forces have kick-started Steadfast Defender 2024, their largest military exercise since 1988. 90,000 troops from the US and allied nations in Europe are taking part. The exercise will continue for over three months. Over 50 warships will take part, as will more than 80 fighter jets, helicopters, drones and at least 1,100 combat vehicles. Some of the major locations of the drills will be Germany, Norway, Romania and there will be keen focus on the Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, all of which border Russian territory. Through these drills, NATO plans to show Russia just how fast it can deploy its advanced multinational land, air, maritime and special operations forces to Poland on the alliance's eastern flank. Now, Poland, of course, borders Russia's close ally, Belarus, and Russia has not taken well to these plans, calling it an irrevocable return to Cold War schemes. Just days after NATO's largest drills were announced, Russia's state media released its latest patent, a realistic nuclear explosion simulator. The simulator is for ground-based nuclear explosions that will help prepare Russian soldiers for combat operations. It will help in preparing Russia's radiation, chemical, biological, ground reconnaissance forces personnel in how to determine the parameters and epicenter of a nuclear explosion. To explain why the situation is so volatile, I want to show you US nuclear weapons storage sites in Europe along with US ally nations which possess nukes of their own. And now here's a look at Russia's nuclear weapons storage sites. But along with these sites, Russia also positioned its nukes in Belarus last year. And do not forget that Kaliningrad in NATO's underbelly, where Russia had allegedly positioned its nuclear assets as well. Now this is how close NATO and Russia have their nuclear assets placed. And Europe is sandwiched in the middle. To remind you, Russia had warned in 2022 that if Finland and Sweden applied to join NATO, Russia would have to restore the nuclear balance in the Baltics. Cut to 2024, Finland has already become a NATO member state and Sweden is just one step away from becoming one. Now here's where things get worse. Sweden, which is not yet a part of NATO, will also take part in NATO's steadfast defender drills, which will surely anger Russia more. Belarus and Kaliningrad, in the midst of Eastern Europe, are Russia's nuclear-armed strategic spots. All these factors are making Europe the next possible theatre for a nuclear war. If matters escalate further, what do you feel? Let me know in the comments.